Niners completed a day 14 of their training camp and in this video I'm going to go over things that really stood out today but I've already made a video about the quarterbacks so if you're interested in that go ahead and make sure to check that out. So with that being said let's talk about a couple of things that stood out today. Most notably the nickel cornerback spot. In the last game against the Raiders Isaiah Oliver performed pretty badly receiving the worst grade on defense according to Pro Football Focus. A guy who performed a lot better though was rookie Deshaun Jamison. He received a pretty good grade according to Pro Football Focus. It was the third one on the defensive side of the ball. And I think that he can actually re possibly replace Isaiah Oliver. But right now that competition is heating up. And that's a big reason why we saw Oliver in the game. He needs to become a, a much more consistent corner. So with that being said, let's go over the players that really stood out today. To begin today's video, we're going to start on the offensive side of the ball. More notably, the wide receiver position. And while Brandon Ayuk obviously is one of the better wide receivers on this roster, a player that continues to impress me throughout this training camp is Danny Gray. And today, he continued his strong performance, even having a catch from Sam Darnold on the right sideline. He was able to make the catch over Samuel Womack, who had nice coverage on the play. Now moving off Danny Gray, who's had such a strong camp performance, and into someone who's really struggled throughout this camp, Cameron Lottu actually had a pretty good outing today. During his work with quarterbacks, he caught every pass that was thrown his direction, and even had a notable game of 15 from Trey Lance. Staying on the offensive side of the ball, but moving into the backfield, a guy who's really impressed is Ty Davis Price. Today, he caught three screens and looked good doing it. His hands are great, and he looks a lot more decisive than his first year. I'm excited to see how he continues to perform these next couple preseason games and how that running back position group is actually going to shake out because Jordan Mason also is a complete stud there. So with several offensive skill players out of the way, let's talk about this offensive line. It appeared today they gave up several pressures, but the first team unit looked better than the second and third team units. But Colt McKibbitts did have several pressures, so that's something to note when he actually starts playing in these preseason games. Now with the offense out of the way, moving into the defensive side of the ball, there were several players that stood out, more notably on the defensive line. Starting out with Javon Kinlaw, he was all over the field, including having a tackle on TDP. Austin Bryant also beat Leroy Watson that would have had a sack today. Other notable players were Cleveland Farrell, who had multiple sacks, and even beat Colt McKivitz. Javon Hargrave looks like a perfect addition as well on the defensive line, beating Aaron Banks. Alex Barrett is another defensive player that performed well today and got in the backfield a couple of times with a notable sack on Brock Purdy. So with the Niners defensive line out of the way, let's move back now into the Niners linebacking core. The guy who stood out there was Fred Warner. He stopped CMC up behind the line of scrimmage, but also found Kyle Juszczyk on the screen. I think he's one of the better coverage linebackers across the entire NFL. Now moving back one more time into the Niners secondary, there were two guys who really impressed me there today. One was Jair Brown. He had two sacks on the day, and with Steve Wilkes' new aggressive style, specifically blitzing safeties a whole lot more, it'll be interesting to see how productive Jair Brown is in that role of really blitzing off the edge or up the middle. Now, the other safety that did well today was Talno Hufunga. He picked off Brock Purdy. Overall, though, all the Niners safeties do look like ball hawks and just playmakers. Talno Hufunga is intercepting balls as well as Gibson. And now seeing Jair Brown's productivity, especially when blitzing, it's intriguing to see how the Niners will get each one of these guys on the field because they all seem like they can be productive. And these type of videos aren't complete until we go onto the Jake Moody watch. Today, he made a four or five with most of them being with inside the 60, but he did have one miss on the day when he attempted from 61 and that attempt sailed left. So with my thoughts about training camp out of the way, I want to hear your thoughts down below and what you're also looking forward to in this upcoming preseason game. It would also mean a ton to me if you liked and subscribed. And as always, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.